Good defensively today. They just doubled and pushed and, you know, just were physical with Jesse down inside. That's something he's had problems with. And, you know, we need him, obviously, to be a factor on the offensive end. Uh, Judah and Joe did what they could. You know, we just got no help from the three position. We tried four different people there, but we could get nothing going at that position. But the bottom line, Jesse has to be able to score for us to be effective. Our defense really wasn't that bad. There were spots. We had that one bad run, and it got to 19. But then we started playing better, and we got it back to 9. But we just could not score enough. You're not going to win games scoring 55 points. And again, a lot of that is Duke. They're really good defensively, physical, and uh, just took our inside game completely away. We had nothing there. And really, we made some pretty good steals. Uh, we probably got 10, 12 points off steals. We probably really only scored about 45 points in our offense. Uh, the rest were made some good steals defensively. But um, we just have to be able to score inside um, to be able to be in this game, and we couldn't. But again, a lot of that's their defense was very good. <coughs> Questions? Jim, after three wins in a row coming into the day, were you surprised by this today, by the way the team played? I didn't think that they'd be able to be that, to stop Jesse like that. I really didn't. But he, they just, they kept him outside the lane, and he just couldn't get to where he could get his shot. And when he did, he just couldn't finish in there. What was working at the beginning of the first half that wasn't towards the end when they went on that 21-2? Well, even in the beginning, our offense wasn't good. They just We were playing defense, and we got two or three steals for buckets. We really Our offense never was working uh, in reality. Uh, Judah made some really good individual plays, but we never got anything going as a group with our interior players, our three, fours, and fives, I think. I think we were 0 for 8 with Justin and Chris and Malik, you know, really couldn't score and Jesse couldn't score. So we just couldn't score in there and that's, you know, a credit to their defense being physical. But we never did score the whole game. Did they take away the three-point line and sort of take away the middle? They made you sort of make some try to make take some mid-range shots? Is that how you saw it? Well, you know, they, they, were, they took away our inside. That's what they took away. Judah got to his places. You know, Joe ended up getting to where he needed to go. Um, they did a good job on Joe, but he finally got a couple looks. You know, but um, we have to score in the other three positions. So it's disappointing. We had a great crowd. Fans were great, and it's always disappointing when you get a lot of people and you don't don't play well. But that's what happened tonight. Do you see any similarity between this game and last year's 25-point loss at Duke? No, no, I mean, last year, here, they just beat us easily. It wasn't even a contest. This was a little better, a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. Jim, limited minutes for, for Chris Bell. What did you see or, or not see from him? I didn't see anything from him. <laughs> you only get so many minutes in, you know, if you play 10 minutes, you get your shot blocked, go for three, don't rebound, you know, how many minutes you're going to get? Another 10? You know, we got to try something else. Like Justin's been good off the bench this year. He got three shots blocked. He's really just the worst, you know, the most he struggled. He just really struggled. And, you know, we tried Quadir in there. He gets to the basket. He made a good move, just, you know, missed the layup, but he got to the basket. Um, we tried Benny at the three a little bit as well. But, uh, you know, offensively, we just had nothing up front from all those guys. Coach, you guys have recruited Kyle Filipowski back when he was in high school. How have you seen him develop this year since we well, recruited him? First of all, we've recruited a lot of people. He's a very good player. That's why we recruited him. James, your take on 
a leak at this point, is what you're taking away from Brown inside. You know, he's a steady player. He does what he does. He plays defense. He rebounds the ball. He f finishes around the basket. He'll get better there. He had some opportunities tonight. He just, just, you know, he just couldn't quite finish. But he's a steady player. He gets, you know, steady numbers. We need to get something out of the three position and 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 uh, and from Jesse. Those are, the, you know, those are the two things offensively that we had to have tonight. Before earlier this season, about how this was a, a lot of largely a young team with all the freshmen. What do you think the team is now here as you get ready for like two more weeks of the year? Well, we played two pretty good road games, you know, and we played well against NC State. Um, but physically, we weren't ready, we weren't able to handle this tonight. And we're going to Clemson and Pittsburgh, they're two physical teams, and we're going to have to be more physical in those situations. Um, and then we come home, come home for the last two. But I think this team's gotten better. I think they've improved tremendously. Uh, Judah's played as well as you could ask, really, a point guard to play. He, uh, I think he's just played great, these last, especially the last, I don't know, five, six games. Um, I think Joe's playing good doing what he can. We just haven't developed at the forward position where, you know, we have two freshmen. Um, we need for them to get play better. And uh, we need Jesse. Jesse has trouble when people are physical with him. And this team was very physical. And we, he just was not able to get anything done. But, what was it like to coach against uh, John for the first time? He's a good coach. You know, they've got good players. They play really good defense. Um, How different is he than Coach K? I mean, I don't know. It's kind of early to talk about all that stuff. He's play, he's coached 20 games or something, but he's he's a sol very solid coach. I mean, they play good defense, and uh, they move the ball well. You know, he's doing, from what I see and watching them play, he's done a really good job coaching their team. Okay.